A bucket begins holding 15 pounds of sand. The bucket is to be lifted to the top of a 25-foot building by a rope of negligible weight. However, the bucket has a hole in it and leaks 0.1 pounds of sand each meter it is lifted. Find the work done lifting the bucket to the top of the building. So this is our bucket here. It starts weighing 25 pounds, but it's leaking sand out the bottom as it's lifted, so the weight is going to change or the force required to lift the bucket will change. And we're also ignoring the weight of the rope here because we're told the rope has negligible weight. So the force it's going to take to lift this bucket is going to change. The force, f of x, will be equal to the initial weight of 15 pounds, then minus the loss of 0 0.1 pounds per meter, which would be 0 0.1 times x, where x is the distance in meters. And now before we find the work done lifting the bucket to the top of the building, let's look at the graph of this function on the coordinate plane. It's graphed here in blue. Notice the horizontal axis would be distance in feet. The vertical axis would be force in pounds. And since work is equal to force times distance, if we find the area under the function and above the horizontal axis over this closed interval, it would be the amount of work to lift the bucket to the top of the building. So notice by this shape we could use the area formula for a trapezoid, but let's use a definite integral instead. Where work is equal to the def integral of big F of x, our force function, from a to b, where in our case a and b would be from zero to twenty-five feet. So the work is going to be equal to the integral of fifteen minus zero point one x from zero to twenty-five. So now we'll find the antiderivative function. We would have 15x minus 0 0.1 times x squared divided by 2. We evaluate this at 25 and then 0 and find the difference. But let's go ahead and clean this up. 0 0.1 divided by 2 or times 1 half would be 0 0.05. So we have 15x minus 0 0.05 x squared. And when x is 25, we have 15 times 25 minus 0 0.05 times 25 squared. Notice when x is zero, these are both zero. So now we'll grow the calculator. We'd have 15 times 25 minus 0 0.05 times twenty-five squared. This gives us three hundred forty-three point seven five foot-pounds, which is the amount of work required to lift the bucket to the top of the building. I hope you found this helpful.